Egypt, a land of ancient pharaohs, pyramids, and power. But when we think of Egyptian rulers, we often forget its legendary last queen, Cleopatra. She was a brilliant strategist, a political mastermind, and yes, a temptress who seduced two of Rome's most powerful men, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. But Cleopatra's story isn't some romantic fairy tale, it's a cutthroat struggle for survival, betrayal, and an ending that still shocks the world. Get ready to have your mind blown because we're about to unravel the truth about Cleopatra, the woman whose name is synonymous with both seduction and tragedy. Not just a pretty face. Cleopatra 7, history paints her as a sultry seductress who manipulated men with her looks. But Cleopatra was far more than just a beauty queen. She spoke a dozen languages, mastered math, philosophy, and astronomy. This woman was a genius. In an era where women rarely held power, Cleopatra clawed her way to the throne, outsmarting her rivals and forging alliances with the Midas empire of her time. Rome, Cleopatra and Caesar, power couple. When Julius Caesar, the great Roman general, arrived in Egypt, Cleopatra saw an opportunity. But forget roses and candlelit dinners. She snuck into his palace rolled up inside a carpet. Talk about a bold first impression. Their relationship wasn't just about love, it was a political power play. Caesar needed Egypt's wealth, Cleopatra needed Rome's protection. Together, they were unstoppable dot 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 for a while. The love triangle from hell. Caesar's assassination threw everything into chaos. Cleopatra had to play her cards right, and her next target was Mark Antony, Caesar's right-hand man. Their love affair became legendary, lavish parties, grand gestures, the works. But this wasn't playtime. Cleopatra and Antony were building an empire to challenge Rome itself. Their ambition was as boundless as their passion. Battle for the ages. Rome wouldn't accept Cleopatra, this foreign queen, as a power player. So, war was inevitable. At the epic Battle of Actium, Cleopatra and Antony's forces clashed with Rome in a naval showdown. But the tides turned. Betrayed and facing defeat, Antony fell on his own sword. A tragic act of love dot 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 or was it despair? The once mighty general who had half the world at his feet met a gruesome end. Cleopatra's shocking demise. Cleopatra, now alone, was determined not to become Rome's prisoner. Legend says she ended her life with a venomous ass smuggled in a basket of figs. True or not, the image endures. A proud queen choosing death over humiliation. Her suicide was a political statement as much as a personal one. She robbed Rome of parading their conquered queen in chains. Cleopatra controlled her narrative to the very end. Cleopatra's story is one of ambition, intelligence, and a fierce will to rule. She wasn't just a pawn in some power-hungry men's games. She played the game herself, brilliantly, in a world that refused to let a woman conquer. Her life and her death still ignite debate. Was she a master strategist or a reckless lover? A victim of circumstance or an architect of her own doom? That's for you to decide. Did Cleopatra's story change how you view history? Let me know in the comments below. If you want more tales of epic and extraordinary figures, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Remember, history is never as straightforward as it seems.